natural as Brianna somewhere out here. She had something to talk to me about. I don't remember what it was. Started with maybe a C or K. I don't know. I'm a rabbit. I don't know how I'm supposed to know what's going on here. Uh, I feel like there's lots of things happening at the moment. Wait. My ears are tingling. There's something behind me. I don't see anything. I really wish she'd get here pretty soon. It's been a while. I, I was here probably on time. What was that? What? Something just tapped me. Rabbit, I'm right here. I hear you, Bree. Where are you? Rabbit, I'm right here, like literally right next to you. What? You don't see me? No. Where are you? I'm right here. Oh, you're moving. When, when did you get here? Um, I've been here all along waiting for you. I, I got here on time. No one said to come dressed up in whatever that get up is. I look pretty awesome, don't I? You look some, like something there. I am. Why are you wearing that? I'm, I'm wearing camouflage. Camo what now? Camouflage. Cancun. Um, no. Camouflage. No. Camouflage means that you're blending in with your surroundings, your, your environment behind you. So oh. you're harder to see. Did it work? I, I would say so. I did. I did not see you. I snuck up on you? You absolutely did. Awesome. I thought so. I thought out of everybody, though, you would know the true definition of camouflage because you're already really well camouflaged. So blend, what you're saying about blended in? Exactly. So like when I see something and I, I go real still, like if I see a fox. Yes, those I'll are stop. your natural instincts. You usually stop. I freeze. You kind of freeze. You flatten yourself out into the I tall grass. I tend to go like this. Exactly, and you don't move, and you're already really well camouflaged. They never see me. I'm still here, so they don't see me. Yeah. So the cool thing about camouflage is, one, you kind of want to blend in with your natural surroundings. So what, what colors do you see out here in the forest? Well, there's a lot of green. Lots of green. I have green on me. I don't have any green. You don't, but you have a lot of brown and neutral colors like the brown and gray in the trees and Wait, in the soil. Wait, let me try. Okay. Can you see me? Um, I can see you. You're kind of like your ears are sticking up and your face and your hands. But I'm real still so you can't see me. You're right. You're super still, but I can still see you. So part of being camouflaged is being still, but maybe even be hidden That's how my cousin behind Larry stuff. Got me. Oh yeah? Yeah. He's really still. He was real still. Is he really good at hide and seek? Unfortunately. That's, that's a good he uh, me a lot. instinct and talent to have as a rabbit. There's lots of predators out here that might want to try to eat you. You guys are good tasting. Is it, is it, is it, I'm sorry. Good tasting? Yeah. Do, are there predators around here right now? Um, yeah. So there could be a fox. There could what? be, um, you know, a, a red tail hawk. Even, like... Human cars might be a predator for you. They don't want to eat you, but unfortunately that does happen. Uh, do you see any right now? No, we're, we're safe here in Wood Lake. No vehicles are allowed here. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to make sure that I stay safe, You're right? going to be safe. Okay, So good. the other part is staying still, being hidden, and yeah. being quiet. You're really good at that. Yeah. I, pra I have lots of practice. Okay. Yeah. Well, so. What else do you, what else is there about camouflage? There is a lot of other cool different types of camouflage that yeah. animals use. Yeah. Okay. Like what? Here, I will give you some great examples. Hold on one second. Okay. So you got to show me about camouflage. Um, camouflage? Well, a lot of humans learn great techniques like camouflage from animals. So we have like camouflage shoes. I'm great camouflage. You're great at camouflage. I even have this like camouflage sheet here too. That you could throw over yourself. Can I try? Yeah, you want to try? I'll try. Let's right. see. Here we go. Invisible rabbit. Here we go. Can y'all see me? Um, can't see you. You can't see me at all. No. Fabulous. But I made it. I'm an invisible rabbit. Remember, rabbit. Part of being camouflage is being still. And, being still. And you're kind when of. I'm under a camouflage. You are. We can't see you, which is great. You have good coverage, but you're moving, so we can see that movement. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, let, let, I'll impersonate Larry. He's so, real good at staying still. Okay, so try to be still. All right, I'm staying still. 
Okay, you're, you're covered just still, but I can still hear you, which tells but me... you can't see me. I can't see you, but part of being camouflage is not making noise. That means you can still find me. I'm not an invisible rider. Yeah, I think you're still yeah, under here. Oh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Hold on. Let's try again. See, no? I, I like your uh, natural camouflage that you're oh. born with. Yeah. Well, thank you. And I was born with it. Your camouflage, we kind of talked about traditional camo, I but yours that. even has some counter shading in there. You're a little bit whiter in the front here, underneath. Your ear's a little bit whiter. Thank and you. so it kind of. real nice. It, did that feel good? It some does scratching? feel real nice. Thank you. So this white here kind of helps break up the dark, just like when we're in the woods when the sun shines. All these sunspots kind of break up the dark part. So I do like those sunspots. They're yeah. real nice. Yeah, lots of birds have great. Um, counter shading like their bellies are a little bit whiter so when they're flying up kind of blend into the sky or if there's like a huge predator above them looking down their backs are usually a little bit darker and kind of blend into the earth. Oh I love my friend Jay. Like your friend yeah blue jays are great examples. Of How did you know he was a blue jay? You know a snapshot are pretty smart. I, I should have been. Yeah. All right. So, so what about shading. yeah and then we even have you know like cardinals. What do you know about cardinals? Well, I know that there's one right over here. You're right. This one right here, this bright red one, this male cardinal. Do you think that has good camouflage? It, no, not at all. It and looks pretty obvious. It's very obvious. And he, Joel, I can see you. He can, yes. You're, you, cardinal, you're not really blending in. But the whole purpose of a male cardinal is he wants to be super beautiful and attractive. He wants to attract a mate. So he he's usually, yeah, his, his kind of social colorization to attractive female and then if it's a successful and they have a nest with eggs and a predator comes he might use that bright coloration to distract a predator away from the nest that is pretty nice i will say uh jenny likes me for my natural kind of color i i like you too rabbit thank you yeah more thank natural you can you think of other animals that maybe are bright colors that live here in minnesota there's that obnoxious looking Baltimore Oriole that keeps coming in. They like to come in too. They're very loud. Yep. They kind of use that same Real coloration. Bright. Yep. To, to attract a mate. I'm thinking of maybe not so much a bird, but it is an animal with wings. Do you have an Animals idea? With wings. Yeah. Bright color. They're, they're very popular this time of year. They're kind of royalty too. Oh, rabbit, look, look up. Ah, oh. oh, where did you come from? Yeah, it causes me to sneeze a lot, all that Where pollen. did this butterfly come from? Well, it has wings. It kind of comes out of nowhere. It can fly. But this coloration isn't so much for social to attract a mate. It's actually a warning for predators. Yeah, don't eat me. I, I ate some not great things when I was a caterpillar. What like what do you like to eat, Munner? Oh, I, I love that milkweed. It has like that yep, white liquidy thing yeah. that comes out sometimes. It's not actually mouth. Some people think it's mouth, but it actually, by eating it as a caterpillar, makes the caterpillar and the monarch as an adult um, poisonous to deter other predators from eat eating them. We won't I wasn't eat you. planning on eating you. Yeah. Are you an herbivore? Yeah. Okay. What's an herbivore? You, you like to eat plants. Yeah. Yeah. I like okay. clovers. Cool. Things. Well, thanks for visiting, monarch. Where do I need to go to get to the milkweed? Lots of milkweed that direction on the prairie. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Rabbit Free. And Hi, Rabbit. Rabbit, can I you guess I'll see you later. Good luck with the migration. Rabbit, can and you migrate? think of another animal that might have warning colors? Warning colors? Yeah. Well, there was, um, um I did see this one movie once. Mm -hmm. I snuck in at a drive in. Pretty and, sneaky using your camouflage. Well, I mean, it's not like they charge rabbits. <laughs> uh, and there was like a bunch of animals on the screen. It was real cool. I think okay. they called this one animal flower. Oh, oh, are you talking about Bambi? Uh, that might have been this. Yeah, I so. I remember seeing all these woodland creatures and I'm like, wow, that looks like head up there. The, these animals get a little bit of bad rap, but um, I have a great example here. Oh my goodness. Is that a lie? It's not alive. You don't have to worry. Okay. This is a skunk. They live here in Minnesota. They usually come out I at see night. Them yeah, they're nocturnal. You're more kind of crepuscular. You come out dawn, dusk. These guys at night really do blend in with the black, except those 
white stripes, just kind of like bright. white stripes on the road, they, once light shines on them, they're definitely very obvious. So these are warning colors because you know what skunks do if they get scared? I, I believe um, Harry, my cousin Harry once yeah. uh, experienced it. And, and was it pleasant? I, it was not pleasant. I didn't go near her for about two weeks. So it didn't smell good like a flower? No. no they're I very don't know why they named this kind of flower. Yeah, like they, they're very stinky. Cool. It smelled real bad. So um, some other types of animals, some great colorations, are seasonal. So this one here belongs to a famous type of rabbit, your cousin, do you know? Yeah, was my, is that my cousin Jay? Potentially, is Jay a snowshoe hair rabbit? Well, I just talked to him like a week ago. So it probably isn't your cousin Jay. Oh, well then good. So they live in colder climates where there's a lot of snow and, you know... Yeah, he, talks, he brags about how he doesn't have to deal with all, like, there's so much snow and I don't have to deal with any of it. Oh, we still get snow. We here. get lots of snow. Yeah. Well, it's a family issue. When it's warmer out, they kind of have similar colorations to you. But in the winter, they grow some new winter fur, a little bit warmer, but the color is cozy. white to blend in with some awesome snow around them. So less less easier for a predator to find them. That's very true. Yeah. He brags about it all the time, yeah. and I, I just tell him, you know, don't worry about it. Too well, I'm glad that uh, Dre has some good coloration for up north. Great coloration. Another yeah. he has type. To be polar bears. I, that, that is true. I'm glad we don't have those. We don't, we don't have those or really bears at all in the lake. That's very nice. That's nice. Well, another type of coloration I want to talk about, and the last one here, definitely not the last one in the world. There's so many different cool types of camouflage that animals use in different types of ecosystems all over the world. But a very common one here is from this creature. This is just the wing of them. Okay. One of our larger birds we have here in the lake. I thought you said I was safe from hawks. That, that's not a hawk. Not a hawk. But it does kind of um, occur around a certain holiday, pretty famous. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm a rabbit. We don't celebrate holidays. That, that, you know, that's true. So, the famous one I'm thinking about is Thanksgiving. Oh, this is it a turkey? Yeah, it's from a wild turkey. My cousin, or my friend Tom gets real nervous around that. Yeah, as he should. He's safe here. However, you can see kind of this disruptive coloration. It kind of reminds me of the zebra. Zebras also have a disruptive coloration. And again, yeah, very stripy. It kind of just causes like tricks on your eyes. So you can't actually see the full solid color. Uh, this white in here kind of maybe looks like the white, again, from the sun. Kind of those patterns it can make in a shady, sunny, forested area. I mean, I, we've tried to play hide and go seek, and they're pretty big. They're not real great at it. But uh, when they get in the right spot, they're real hard to they're, find. Yes, exactly. If they, if they match up with the right habitat that they're made for, that they live in, they have awesome camouflage. That is real nice. Yeah, so I hope that um, you had an awesome time learning about different kind of camouflage and coloration that animals use. I did. You're, you're already a professional at it. And you guys at home, you can definitely practice some of this by playing hide and go seek and maybe changing the color of your clothes that you're wearing making sure you're staying still, you don't pop out too early, you're quiet, all those fun things. Grab it. Grab it. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. You I didn't I thought, see me, I right? thought you I left. was practicing. You, you, you were pretty good. Oh, well, good. I'm glad, I'm glad that you thought I was doing pretty good. Do you want to play again? Uh, you know, maybe afterwards. Okay. okay when we finish this. Good. Okay. The well. other challenge we have for you guys, now that you know all about colorations and the different types of animal colors you can look for, in this frame behind us, we had how many how many animals, rabbit? Um, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just showed up and then okay. you appeared out of nowhere. All right. Well, we had ten animals. There's ten animals, animals behind us. Behind us, one of I them. I thought you were safe. Includes this red cardinal here. All right. So see if you um can look back through the video. See if you can find all ten. Give us a shout out which ones are easiest, which ones are hard, and see if you can name all of them. They're all common animals that live here at Wood Lake. That's very true. Yeah. Uh, sure. I think I spotted a couple of them. them. Okay, well, okay. we're going to go practice our hide and seek. We hope you had fun with this, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. You ready? All ready. Let's do it. Let's go.